To add these fractions together, I need to start by finding the lowest common denominator of 3 and 7. That number is 21. This is my denominator. 3 goes into 21 7 times, so I need to multiply the 2 by 7, which gives me 14. 7 goes into 21 3 times, so I need to multiply the 3 by 3, which gives me 9, and I'm adding. 14 add 9 is 23. So my fraction is 23 over 21, but this is an improper fraction, it's top heavy. 21 goes into 23 one time with a remainder 2. So I have 1 and 2 over 21 as my answer. The lowest common denominator here is 8. 8 into 8 goes once and 1 7 is 7. 4 into 8 goes twice and 2 3s are 6. So I have 7 minus 6 over 8 which is 1 over 8. On this one the lowest common denominator is going to be BD. B goes into BD D times, so multiplying A by D gives me AD. D goes into BD B times, so multiplying C by B gives me CB, and I'm adding. So this is the answer for this one. To do this question, I need to change my fractions from mixed numbers into improper fractions, top heavy ones. To do this, 2 fives is 10, add that to the 3 gives me 13. So that one is 13 over 5. 1 3 is 3, add that to the 2 gives me 5, so this one is 5 over 3, and I'm subtracting. The lowest common denominator is 15. 5 into 15 goes 3, 3 13s are 39. 3 into 15 goes 5, 5 fives are 25. 39 take away 25 is 14, so my answer is 14 over 15. When I'm multiplying fractions, I can cancel any top number with any bottom number. Here, 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 3 goes into 30 10 times. Now I can cancel the 12 and the 10. 2 goes into 12 6 times, and 2 goes into 10 5 times. Now I've simplified it, I can do this question easily. Multiply the two top numbers, 6 times 3 is 18, and multiply the two bottom numbers, 17 times 5 is 85. So this is my answer. Algebraically, we multiply the tops and we multiply the bottoms, so I have AC over BD. For this one, I need to change them to top heavy fractions before I begin. 3 fives is 15, add that to the 3 gives me 18, so it's 18 over 5. 3 fours is 12, add that to the top is 15 over the 4. I can now cancel any top number with any bottom number. 2 goes into 18 9 times, and 2 goes into 4 twice. 5 goes into 5 once, and 5 goes into 15 3 times. Now I can multiply. 9 times 3 is 27, and 1 times 2 is 2. This is top heavy, so I need to change it to a mixed number. 2 into 27 goes 13 times with a remainder of 1, so we have 13 and a half. The technique for dividing fractions is to turn the second fraction upside down and change the divide to a multiply. So we have 7 over 9 multiplied by 12 over 5. Now I can cancel any top number with any bottom number. 3's go into 9 3 times, 3's go into 12 4 times. I've now got 7 4's 28 over 3 5's 15. This is top heavy. 15 goes into 28 once with a remainder of 13, so I have 1 and 13 over 15 for my answer. For this one, I'm going to have A over B multiplied by D over C. This gives me AD over BC. Now we have a mixed number that we need to change to top heavy. Two sevens are 14, add that to the top is 19, so I've got 19 over 7. Change this to a multiply and flip this one so it's 14 over 5. 
Now cancel any top number and any bottom number. 7 goes into 7 once and 7 goes into 14 twice. Now I can multiply 19 twos are 38 and 1 5 is 5. This is top heavy. 5 goes into 38 7 times with a remainder of 3. So it's 7 and 3 fifths. Here are some questions for you to try. Press pause and have a go at them. When you're ready to see the answers, press play. Here are the answers. To do these questions, I'm going to look for common factors and cancel. Here we have a common factor of two. Two goes into eight four times and two goes into two once. We've got a common factor of x squared here. x squared goes into x squared once, x squared goes into x squared once. So I now have 4 times 1, which is 4, over 1 times 1, which is 1. 4 divided by 1 gives me 4. 3's into 9 goes 3, 3's into 3 goes 1. a's into a squared goes a, a's into a, 1. b's into b, 1 b's into b, 1. So I now have 3 times a times 1, which is 3a, over 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, and this gives me 3a. For this question, I need to start by factorising the top. I can take out a factor of x. This leaves me with 7 plus 2x. On the bottom, I still have 3x. I now have a common factor of x, x goes into x once, and x goes into x once. So I now have 7 plus 2x over 3 times 1, which is 3. Again on this one, I need to start by factorising. I can take out a factor of 4a. This leaves me with b here and 2a here. This is still 2ab. Now, 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 2 once, a goes into a once, a goes into a once. So I have 2 times 1 times b plus 2a, which is 2b plus 2a. And I have 1 times 1 times b, which is b. Initially, in these questions, it looks like we can't cancel anything. However, if we factorise both the top and the bottom, we might find something that we can cancel. Factorising the top here gives me y, y minus 3. I now need to factorise this quadratic, which gives me y minus 3, y plus 1. I then have a common factor of y minus 3, which I can cancel. This leaves me with y times 1, which is y, over 1 times y plus 1, which is y plus 1. Factorising this quadratic gives me a minus 7, a plus 3. And factorising this gives me a minus 7, a plus 2. Here's my common factor, which I can cancel. This leaves me with 1 times a plus 3, which is just a plus 3, over 1 times a plus 2, which is a plus 2. In this question, I can immediately see that I have a common denominator. So my answer is simply going to be 3 plus 2 over x. 3 plus 2 is 5 over x. In this question, I can see a common denominator of 8x. This goes into 8x once, so I multiply 5 by 1 to get 5. This goes into 8x twice, so I multiply 3 by 2 to get 6. I now have 5 plus 6, which is 11, over 8x. For this question, I can see that my common denominator is going to be 12x. 4x goes into 12x three times, so 3 times 3 is 9. 3x goes into 12x 4 times, 4 times 2 is 8. 
I've got 9 minus 8 over 12x, which is 1 over 12x. Here, my common denominator is going to be 12. 3 goes into 12 four times, so I need to multiply this by 4. I have 4 times x plus 1. 4 goes into 12 three times, so I have to multiply this by 3. So I have 3 times 2x plus 1. And it says subtraction. Now I need to multiply out these brackets. So I have 4x plus 4 minus 6x minus 3. And that's all over 12. Now simplifying, 4x minus 6x is minus 2x plus 4 minus 3 is plus 1, and this is over 12. Now this is the right answer, but a nicer way of writing it is 1 minus 2x over 12. My common denominator here is going to be x plus 1, x plus 2. x plus 1 goes into this x plus 2 times. So I'm going to multiply 7 by x plus 2. 7 times x plus 2. x plus 2 goes into this x plus 1 times, so I'm going to do 4 times x plus 1. And it's a subtraction. Now I'm going to multiply out the brackets on the top, but I'm going to leave the brackets on the bottom as they are. So I have here 7x plus 14 minus 4x minus 4. The bottom stays as it is, x plus 1, x plus 2. I'm now going to simplify the top. 7x minus 4x is 3x, plus 14 minus 4 is plus 10, and the bottom is still x plus 1, x plus 2. My common denominator here is going to be a times a minus 2. a minus 2 goes into this a times, so I multiply the 3 by a. a goes into this a minus 2 times, so I multiply the 4 by a minus 2. And it's an addition. Now I'm going to multiply out this bracket on the top, but not the one on the bottom. So I have 3a plus 4a minus 8 over a, a minus 2. Now simplifying the top gives me 7a minus 8 over a, a minus 2. Some of you may be wondering why I multiplied out this and this, but I didn't multiply out this and this. The reason is because I could see that if I multiplied this out, I could combine it to get a simpler form. The same here, I get a simpler form if I combine it, whilst these are already in their simplest form. Here are some questions for you to try. Press pause and have a go at them. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. Here are some more for you. Press pause and try them. When you're ready for the answers, press play. And here are the answers. Two more for you. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers for those. Notice that on the second one, you have a choice of two correct answers. Here are two more for you to try. Press pause and try them. When you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers.